Holly carried out an experiment. She used the experiment to record the velocity of the object V in meters per minute for the first eight minutes of the experiment. The velocity time graph is shown below. Write down the gradient of the curve when t equals 4.6. OK, let's check out our scales before we start then. Going up for our velocity, that's easy. Every small division is going to be 1. OK, because we've got 10 small divisions between 0 and 10. Going along, then we've got 10 divisions to be 2. So every small division here is 0.2. So 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1, etc. Right, and we're looking for t at 4.6. This 4, 4.6. So we're looking here. Okay, here the gradient would be a straight line. So when it's a straight line, the gradient is 0. So the gradient would equal 0. Okay, find an estimate for acceleration of the object at t equals 3.5. So what we need to do is find the gradient at the point t equals 3.5. So here we go then, there's 3.5 there. To find the gradient, first of all we're going to draw a straight line on, as accurately as we can. Okay, gradient, drawing the tangent on then. So there's my tangent, touching this point and going in the same direction. Now our gradient M is found by the difference in Y's over the difference in X's. So let's have a little look then. We draw the triangle on it, it'll make it easier. So our difference in Y's goes from 20 to 35. So our difference in Y's is 15, our height is 15. Then going across, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our difference in X's is 5. And then going across is 5. So we're going to do 15 divided by 5, and that gives us, what well, gives me, 3. Now don't forget that you might find different values according to your tangent, okay? So for example, on the mark scheme, it says approximately 3.3, okay? And this is meters per minute squared, okay?